But no matter what you're going through in life, get after it. And, and if you're thinking that, you know, what's the point? I can't do it. You're not alone. You're not alone. Nobody is invincible. Nobody is bulletproof, right? We all feel like we can't do it sometimes. But if you don't try, you'll never know. You'll never know if you would have made it, right? You'll never know if you would have made it. And that's, that's the important thing about trying, right? It's not so much about, oh, I'm going to try to get a good grade so I can get a good grade in the class. Or, oh, I'm going to go to the gym so I can get in better shape. You want to get the best grade in the class. You want to get 100%. You want to have the best body you can have in this world, right? You want to look good. You want to be strong. You want to be smart. You want to have money. You want to have everything. And you should want those things. And you should believe that you can get those things. And you should try. But when you fail, because you will fail many times, when you fail, you should look back and say, hey, you know what? At least I tried. At least I did my best. And that, my friends, is, is the best feeling in the world. It is the best feeling in the world to look back, to look back on your life and say, I did the best I could. I did the best I could. There is nothing more freeing than that because life is hard. You're going to fail many, many times. Right? We, we all read success stories. We, want, we all want instant gratification. And there is nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong with you wanting the best life for you. There is nothing wrong with you wanting to know as much math as possible, being in the best shape as possible, being an expert programmer, whatever it is you want in life, having tons of money, whatever it is, having that hot girlfriend, whatever it is you want, you can have it. You just have to try. Because once you try... Once you try, you're doing two things. One, you're improving your chances of successes because if you never try, you'll never know. Two, you're eliminating all regret because you made an effort. You made an effort. Make the effort. You can do anything, right? You can do anything in this world, anything, anything. Believe. You have to believe that. I, I cannot emphasize that enough. You have to believe that you can do anything. Stop letting doubt fill your mind because human beings, we are doubt creators. Our minds are filled with doubt. If you ever go on the internet and you look for advice, Reddit is a good example. You look for advice on things. People are full of doubt. People are cynics. People are always doubtful. We are meant to think, and as a community of learners and thinkers, that's what this is. This is a community of learners and thinkers. We overanalyze. We are taught to overanalyze. We are taught to use critical thinking skills. But my friends, you have to throw that all out the door. I'm not saying you shouldn't plan, but get to work. Believe that the impossible is possible and put in the work. Put in the work. Get to work, my friends. Get to work. Lock in. I just skin locking in. Lock the. I can't cuss on this channel because it's G rated. Lock the f in, my friends. Lock in. Right. Stop. Stop being afraid. Stop listening to people who say, "Oh, you know, I can give countless stories of things I've told people that I want to do." And honestly, I no longer tell people my plans. Except there's one person I tell my plans. I no longer tell people my plans because when you tell people what you're trying to do in life. It's not because people are bad. It's because we're built to think. They'll say, oh, you're going to do what? You're going to move where? You're going to get what job? You're going to study what? You're going to make how much money? You're going to buy what car? You think that girl's going to say yes when you ask her out? You're going to do what? What? People will doubt you. People will doubt you. Silence the doubters. You silence them by not speaking to them, not telling people your plans, and putting in the work. Put it in, my friends. Put it in. I just, this, you know, it's one of the things that it just really gets me going when I think about this. You know, when, when, you, when you tell people your plans, work in silence, work in secret, work alone. Keep it up here. Strong mind, strong body, my friends. That is how you must live your life. And, and silence the doubters, silence the critics, silence the haters, ignore them all and focus on yourself and those that you care about, those that you love. Focus on what matters to you 
and work towards it every day. Don't forget to live your life, my friends. I'm not saying you should go work 20 hours a day, right? But conquer your days. Conquer your day by training your body and your mind every single day. That's what I try to do. I try to do some mental activity every day and some physical activity every day. I went swimming today. I was in the pool. I went swimming for 10 minutes, only 10 minutes. Why? The pool was too busy. The point is you have to do something every day. Get after it every single day and, and silence the critics. Silence yourself when you feel self-doubt. And if you don't have confidence, I, I posted this on my other channel today, The Internet Sorcerer. I have another channel called The Internet Sorcerer. I posted it today. If you don't have confidence, there's a quick fix. Just move. Take action. Get to work. Take a step. Take a step towards your goals. Do a thing. Right? Do a thing. In my first book, Real Superpowers That Will Change Your Life, there's a chapter on this. It's called, called Momentum Mastery. It's the idea that once you start moving, once you, like, once you take that step, once you do something, you know, it's like if you're trying to learn math, once you sit down and, and put the pencil to the paper and you start writing down a math problem, that's when the momentum builds. Once you go to the gym and you do those warm-up sets on the bench press, you know, work the pec muscles, that's when you get the pump. You start, you start getting, you get that fifth set you load up, you know, 185, 225, if you can do that, that's when you feel like you're a god, right? Get the adrenaline from it. Momentum, my friends, momentum mastery. And this will help you on those days when you're tired, on those days when you don't want to work. It's going to help you pick yourself up off the ground and get to work.